In this video, I explain various type of gear. There are many different type of gear are used in various engineering application. Some of them most commonly use are as follow. So various six type of the gears are used in various engineering application. First one is the spur gear, second helical gear, third spidal gear, fourth bevel gear, fifth worm and worm wheels, and last one is the rack and pinion type gear. Now we understand all these type of the gears in the detail. So first we start with a spur gear. In every gear, the teeth are provided. So in a various types of gear, the teeth shape are different. If teeth of the wheel are parallel to the axis of the wheel as shown in a figure, the gear are called spur gears. So here you see two spur gear. So this is a driving gear and this is a driven gear. So it is called as the pinion. And this is a side view of the gears. So this is a gear shaft. So this is the horizontal axis and the teeth of the gear eye is also horizontal means it is parallel to the axis of the shaft. It is called as the spur gear. Here you see in a 3D view, this is a shaft. So this is a shaft axis and axis of the shaft, the teeth are manufactured. It is called as the spur gears. So this is the actual diagrams of the gear. Here you see this is the axis of the gear. An axis of the gear, the various teeth are formed on the periphery of the cylinder. It is called as the spur gear. The teeth of the spur gears are cut on the circumference of the cylindrical disc. Means for manufacturing the spur gear, initially we require the one cylinder. So here you see this is the one cylinder and on the circumference, on the circumference of the cylinder, the gear are manufactured. Means for manufacturing some gears, we require the cylinder. For manufacturing some type of the gear, we require the cone. So basic two type of the raw material is required, either cylindrical shape or either it may be in a conical shape. Spur gear can transmit higher power because of the contact between the matting gear is a long lines. So what is the meaning of the matting gears means when the two spur gear are come in a contact here in this diagram you see. Okay, so when these two gears are come in a contact, the massing surface is have the one lines when they are met the two gears we get the line contact between these two teeth. So here one type of the line is generated. Okay, so due to this line contact the spur gear are able to transmit a higher power in a some gears when the two teeth are match it's give the curvilinear contact some give the point contact so when the point contact are there at that time we transmit the lower powers so in a spur gear when these two gear are meet it's a, have a line contact between the two teeth so they are able to transmit the higher powers now where the spur gear are used so spur gear are used for transmitting the power between the two shaft when the axis of the driving and driven shaft are parallel and the coplanners. So here in this diagram we see that axis of the both the driving gear and the driven gears are same. Means parallel to each other. So here you see this is the gear shaft and this is a pinion shaft. So both are parallel to each other and they are in a coplanner. They are commonly used in machine tools and automobile gearbox. So in automobile gearbox means in a various vehicles the gearbox are there. So in a gearbox all the gears are the spur gears. Even in a various machine tools like as the lathe machines, milling machine, shaper machine, the spur gear is used. Second type is the helical gear. Helical gear are similar to spur gear, but the teeth are cut in the form of the helix around the gear as shown in a figure. So in a spur gear what we understand the teeth are cut parallel to the axis. But here the teeth are not cut parallel to axis but they are cut in a form of the helix around the gear as shown in the figures. So here we see this is a shaft of the axis. This is a shaft or a gear axis. And these teeth are cut at the some helix angle. 
this is the actual diagram of the gear so here the teeth are cut inclined head inclined head means it's cut at the helix angle that's why it gear is called as the helical gear their teeth are not parallel to shaft axis two moving helical gear are identical helix angle but opposite hand means when the two gear are used means two helical gear are in contact they have the same helix angles so here we see that have a two helix angle then and then they are mess with each others so second gear have a angle but at the opposite hands means same angle but the second angle is in the opposite hands the helical gear run more smoothly and more quietly at the high speed means compared to the spur gear helical gear is run smooth it create the less noise at the high speed and curvilinear contact of gear teeth giving the gradual engagements so here we see that is a contact is the curvilinear so they are give the gradual engagement between this gear the main disadvantage of the helical gear is that it produce end thrust on the driving and driven shafts but when the double helical gear or herring bone gears as shown in a figures means in a single helical gear that is a problem of that it is the end thrust is create on the driving and driven shaft and if we want to avoid the end thrust we need to use the two helical gears combined it is called as the herring bone gears so here we see the two gears are used are used to connect parallel shaft and produce equal and opposite thrust on each wheel and gets balance and do not transmit axial thrust to the shaft now use of the helical gear is helical gear are used for transmitting power between two parallel non parallel non intersecting shaft means helical gear is used for the parallel shaft in this diagram we see that the two shaft are parallel but in a some case they are two shaft are not parallel not intersecting means axis of these two shaft are not intersect with each other means when we use in a non parallel conditions the axis of these two shaft are not match with each other means they are not intersect with the each others helical gear are used where smooth and quiet running at the high speed is required generally helical gear are used in automobile power transmissions now before moving ahead towards the third types i request to like the video and subscribe my channel for watching the more video related to bme subject or other subject of mechanical engineering for bme subject various link is provided in descriptions as well as in car for other subject i request to visit the playlist third type is a spiral gear the teeth of spiral gear as shown in a figure are same as helical gears it cut along helical part so spiral gear is similar to the helical gears and the teeth are cut along a helical part so here we see that the teeth are cut on a helical part in a spiral gear there is a point contact while curvilinear contact in a case of helical gears so what is difference between the spiral gear and helical gears in a helical gears the contact between the two teeth is the curvilinear contact but in a spiral gears the contact between the two teeth is the point contact so because of this point contact in a spiral gear are more suitable for transmitting a less power so spiral gear are used to transmit a power between two non parallel non intersecting shaft here we see the axis of the two shaft is not parallel they are at the certain angle so it is called as the non parallel conditions and what is meaning of non intersecting the axis of two shaft is not intersect means suppose we extend this line of this shaft and this shaft they are not match or they are not intersect to the each others now fourth one is the bevel gears teeth of the bevel gear as shown in a figure are cut on a conical surface means earlier we study three types of gears for manufacture these three types of the gear we required a cylindrical blocks but when we need to manufacture in the bevel gears we are required a conical surface like this so here we see two bevel gears so it shape like as the con bevel gear teeth are varying in a cross section along the tooth width so with the weight 
द क्रॉस सेक्शनल एरिया ऑफ द टीथ इज चेंज द एक्सिस ऑफ टू मूविंग गियर्स आर इंक्लाइंडेड इन ए बीवेल गियर्स सो हियर वी सी द एक्सिस of the two moving gears are inclined in a bevel gears here we also see that the axis of the two gears are intersect with each others in earlier case the axis are not intersect but here we see the axis are intersect here in most of the cases two bevel gear have their axis at the right angles so here in the diagram we said that the axis of the both the gears are right angles means they are at the 90 degree to each others and are of equal size call as the meter gears means when we use the two bevel gear of the same size then it is call as the meter gears here the size of the two gears are different so we call it is a bevel gear so here also the size of the two bevel gear are different so we can says these all are the bevel gears if the two gear size is same and they are engaged for transmitting the power then it is call as the meter gears now where the bevel gear is used bevel gear are used to transmitting the power between the two shaft when the axis of the two shaft are inclined or at right angles to each others as seen in these diagrams and these axis of the two shaft are intersect with each others bevel gears are widely used in a automobiles so bevel gear are generally used in a differentials of the vehicles for transmitting the power so in a engine power produces is supplied to gearbox from the gearbox it is supplied to propeller and after the propeller the power is transmitted to the differentials so in a differentials the bevel gears are used and then after power is transmitted to the rear wheel fifth type is the worm and worm wheels a worm gear drive consists of worm and worm wheel as shown in a figures so this is called as the worm wheel and worm wheel is installed on this driving shaft so this here you see in the board the diagram this is driving shaft this is the worm wheel and this screw type portion is called as the worm so here in this diagram you can clearly understand this is the worm and this is the worm wheel worm means it is a screw has one or more number of helical or trapezoidal shape cut on it means on the worm screw the helical or trapezoidal shape is provided worm wheel is a gear wheel with the tooth profile consist of small segment of helix which engage with the worm means here we use the helical gears as a worm wheels so worm gear are used for transmitting power between two shaft having their axis at right angles and non coplanners so in a bevel gear we also study that the axis between the two gear is at the right angles here also the right angles but bevel gears the second point is that the intersecting axis are there but in a worm and worm wheels the both the gear axis are not intersect with each other so it is call as the non coplanners means the plane of both the gears are different for one the plane is horizontal for the second vertical planes are there and the axis of the shaft is not intersect with each others worm gears are suitable for transmission of power when high velocity ratio is required they are mostly used in machine tools like lathe milling drilling machine its to get the large speed reductions and the last type is the rack and pinion gears so rack is the rectangular bar consist of series of straight teeth cut on it so here one gear it is a straight gear so it is called as the rack and second one is the pinion so it is a one type of the spur gears so rack is also called as the infinite diameter of spur gears so theoretically rack is a spur gear of infinite diameters so it have a certain length that why we can consider it have the infinite diameter so in this diagram we see the we see this is the rack and this is the pinion the rack is mass with another small gear is known as a pinion so this is small gear is called as the pinion so rack and pinion drive is used to convert rotary motion into a linear motions so when we need to convert rotary motion into the linear motion at that time we use the rack and pinion gears rack and pinion engagement generally used in machine tools such as a lathe machine drilling machine 
planing machines and it is also used in a measuring instruments so it is used in all the machines so in all the machine we know that we have the one handles and when we rotate the handle the carriage in the lathe machine is more table in the lathe uh, table in the other machines like as the drilling and planing machine is more so when we rotate the handle and the carriage is move in a linear direction or the table is move in a linear directions so in all these machines the rack and pinion mechanism is used when we convert the rotary motion into linear motions or linear motion into the rotary motions so thank you for watching this video if you learn something then like the video and subscribe my channels for watching the more video related to mechanical engineering and don't forget to share with your friends